Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is episode 6 guys, I believe. And today we're going to be building a Zebra Mountain, which is pretty damn cool. So we get the most of it done in this time lapse at the beginning here. Then there'll be a bunch of me talking and just playing the game at the end. Where we uh, do a few other things, get get a nice sign put on the mountain and stuff like that. But anyways guys, for now we just uh, we start off by putting a path in. I just wanted to go down a little bit out here. And as you can see, there's a bit of path. Uh, there's a bit of land there that got stuck to the path and I couldn't get rid of it. So I deleted the path, got rid of the land and then put it back. So it's all good. Um, we, we wanted to put a nice mountain in here. So yeah, that all looks uh, pretty cool. Obviously the path doesn't look that great at the moment. We, we make it all like dirt eventually. And then I wanted to put a cave into this mountain here, which is pretty cool. Turns out pretty good in the end. Uh, we go back and work on that a bit later on. Uh, so... The thing with the zebras is they don't like that much coverage in trees and I wanted to put a bunch of trees out the back of this mountain and some of them were still classed as being in the in the habitat so uh, we put a bunch of trees in we have to take a bunch of them out and in, in the end it doesn't look as good but uh, I'd rather keep the zebras happy to be honest so that's what we've gone for. Um, so yeah um, there's not that much to talk about during this time lapse so I'm just going to let it run and I'll see you guys right after the time lapse has finished.
Alrighty guys, so we just built this fantastic new enclosure for our zebra here. I'm thinking of putting some other animals in there as well that they like. How do we how do we get rid of that? Right, um, right. Can't find accessible staff room. I mean, yeah, we're having a few problems with staff at the moment, guys. I mean, look at all these buildings and stuff. I'm just trying to get all the research done really quickly. And, of course, it's started raining. But anyways, guys, in the Africa area now, we now have ostriches. I ignore them. They're not supposed to be there. Um, we have the the uh, the giraffes now, guys. And look, we have a little baby giraffe. That's fantastic. You know, I need to get this stuff off my screen. I haven't had the game on play the whole time I was building that, pretty much. So, there we go. We've got a little little giraffe. we got a few VIPs that we need to say hi to, guys. Let's say hi to all of these. It's like the guest name thing is messed up. Definitely messed up on the alert there. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. Many guest th tickets are underpriced. Okay, well, we can keep putting this up now, guys. I'd say maybe... Let's just do 12, and I'm going to leave that at 8 for now. But research is complete. Fantastic. All right, pretty boring, but you know that, that that'll that'll do. Alrighty, guys. So cool. We built the zebra uh, habitat over here, which is going fancy. So our Africa area is coming together. Now I put lots of trees in this time. I'm gonna put lots more trees in. I've just okay. Well, yes, that does that very weird thing. It goes dark for about half a second. Okay. Well, let's see how happy these guys are. Their enrichment is low, so uh, they have no food enrichment. We definitely need to go into here, into our research, and our vets need to start searching these guys. Wait, do we have, yeah, this guy's, this guy's two stars, so they'll research that quicker. Very cool. All of these animals are now gold and research, so that's cool. We're doing the giraffes now and the zebras. So, what else can... where is the zoopedia? Go in a habitat with these guys. Uh, species into species. I was thinking like the springbok. Um, or the wildebeest. Yeah, maybe springbok. Let's see. What kind of, like, habitat do they need? Okay, they need a higher wall than I've made in there. So maybe not the springbok. They can jump too high by the looks of it. Let's go back to the zebra. Zebra, zebra, whatever you want to call it. Warthog, ostriches, we already got them. Wildebeest, antelope. Antelope look pretty cool, guys. What are these guys? Do they need a super high fence as well? Okay, they do. I haven't made a really high fence here. I wanted a I want a nice low fence. So, anyways, guys, I know it's raining. Let's uh, let's just speed up the time a little bit. I forgot what. Yes, it is O. O is the shortcut for that. Okay, very cool. Um, oh man, we're getting things born all over the place. Um, yeah, so these guys are gonna chill out. I really like this little cave that I built, guys. That is cool. These guys can come in under the mountain here. Um, there's still a, a lot of work to do on these enclosures, and I think the main thing that we need to do is start theming out all these areas because these paths are going to go off in this direction so this area has to be filled up. What I want to do is actually make this quite a big staff area uh, so that multiple people can get in here uh, for multiple. So for this enclosure and this enclosure and maybe this one and have a big staff room there and everything and right we got some more mechanics research. Is it the barriers? Please be the barriers. Ah, food shops is still pretty cool. So guys we've got most of the barriers now we're just looking for the one-way glass which is really good for um, animals like these idiots. Okay, we're going to have to pause because we're going to have to put um, heaters in the zebra thing. Uh, so for these little idiots over here, where are they? I've completely forgotten what these morons are called. I'm insulting them because they're always whinging about being scared. And then you put them over here and they run back out again. What are these guys called? Right, the aardvarks, yes. Um, these guys, oh, they're very happy at the moment because they're sitting over here. I made them this little thing so they could hide. But what you do is if you make this one-way glass, and we'd probably make it a bit taller because those guys can see over it, they wouldn't know that all these people are here. And we could put like a, a sign up that says be quiet, and that would help them out a lot. They would stop freaking out so much. Because they are morons. They are complete and utter morons. Okay, what's going to happen over here, guys, is let's just check this really quickly. Uh, souvenir shops in the India theme. Cool. I'm researching uh, the themes, so the first time you do the theme, you get all the scenery items. I don't really want the blueprints, so what we can do is actually, uh, we'll go back into that in a second, and change all that. So, if we go to mechanic research, we can stop searching that, and then you can research the new world theme. And I think I'll just leave these guys. We've got the first of the Arctic theme, the classic theme. We probably need drink shops. People are complaining about drink shops. 
and the East Asia theme, but I don't want all my mechanics to be researching stuff. So we're going to leave that for just now. We will get that. We want to get all the theming stuff so that we can make really cool things. Now, I presume that these guys are going to be very annoyed that it's snowing. Yes, it, it looks like they're very annoyed that it's snowing. They're chilling out in here. So the habitat is very annoying. The terrain, we've got lots of snow. Okay, we need to fix that, guys. So it's going to be heat as it is, which is in under habitat, I believe. Heaters, uh, no, heaters and coolers, there we go. Heater, so we need to zoom out and look straight down because that gives us like the best thing to look at here. So that will cover that whole area there. And then we probably want another one. Uh, I don't want to place it in the tree. Probably want to place it down in here somewhere. Down here, underground maybe just a little bit. Can we click on that still? Yes, we can. Okay, we probably don't need to make it that hot because that just costs more money, the, the higher you put it at. So 14 degrees is probably just fine. Um, and where's the other one that I put in? This one. You go to 14 degrees as well, so that will get rid of all the snow. Let's press play. That should quickly melt all that away. This is going to be this little bit here. Um, can we do anything about that? I don't think so. I think there's going to be that little bit of snow there. We're just going to have to deal with that. But are these guys happier now? Have we made them happy again? Habitat. What are they annoyed about with their habitat? Terrain set up as inappropriate for the animal. No, it isn't. Why? In what way, my friend? So there's not enough grass because of this. It's this little bit of snow here, you guys. It is actually this little bit of snow. Okay, they don't want snow at all. Obviously, I understand that. They are... Uh, Okay, we're just going to have to put more of these in then. You and... Okay, if you're there then, this one can move over here. And then hopefully, let's just see. That should get rid of almost all of it. Okay, I need to move you again, don't I? Let's move you here then. Try that. Okay, that is pretty much all of the snow gone. Man, these, these heaters are very annoying. If we move this a little bit here. Okay. Are these guys going to be happy now? I doubt it, but I think we've gotten rid of most of the snow. They don't want any snow at all, so... Um, plants. The type of coverage is severely inappropriate for this animal. No, it isn't. Oh, there's too many trees. Um, that's because their enclosure goes out here, all these trees are. So there's too many, too much, uh, we haven't put any of the wrong plants in here. We've just put in too much. Okay, but that's, that's, I mean, I suppose that's okay, but it doesn't, it won't look as cool if I take any of these plants out. Alright, let me sort these silly zebras out. Okay, guys, the snow is gone. I put all the heaters in. We had to remove a bunch of trees from here, unfortunately, so... Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't look as good anymore, does it, guys? I mean, the coverage thing is a bit silly in this game, but, I mean, if the, if the zebras don't like it, they don't like it. Anyways, let's check out the baby zebra now that we, uh, now that it's nice weather. Let's get the camera on him. Or her. I didn't actually check. Fantastic! Oh, yeah, giraffes are pretty damn awesome, guys. Look at these guys go. They're so cool. Alrighty, well, what is going on, guys? There's probably some issues going on. There's always an issue in a zoo. Always an issue. So let's zoom out. What do we got? Vet research complete. Fantastic. Uh, the giraffes. Okay, we can make the giraffes a bit more happy now. So we can go into habitat, and we can pick giraffe, which is under R, annoyingly. There we go. And uh, what is new? No, we have all those things. Okay, well, there's nothing new in here for the giraffes. Keep researching, my friends. We want to make the giraffes happy. They don't have food enrichment, I believe. Yeah, the food enrichment is very low. They could get the uh, interspecies bonus as well if we wanted to put something else in there, which we could always do. But anyways, guys, I was thinking about putting different animals in here, wasn't I? But uh, yeah, we, we were worried about the fence. So let's go back into the Zoopedia. Um... Right down to the Plains Zebra, under P, when I can finally get there. There we go. Alright, so, interspecies and enrichment. The, the wildebeest needed a big fence. What about this guy? He needed grade 3 
and he needs quite a high fence as well. Okay. So we can't put anything else in this enclosure, guys. It's just going to be the zebras for now. That's fine. We can build another enclosure for other things, or we can put something in here with these guys. These guys are having a wonderful... Is that how they sleep? Oh my goodness, that's uncomfortable. Well, it looks uncomfortable anyway. That's unreal. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah, we need to deal with a few things around the park, obviously. Well, there are people going down there. Uh, the, the, the people don't seem to like viewing animals underwater. You can make all these, like, cool areas. I mean, this isn't cool yet because I didn't have any stuff when I started making that. But, um, yeah, you can make all those kind of things and they just do not seem to care. They just don't care at all. Alright, let's go over here, guys. I think we want to call this, like, Zebra Mountain or something. So if we can go into construction and find the... Do we just call it a letter? No. What are they called? Planet... I want all the Planet Zoo stuff. And there's some letters in here. Right, alphabet. Let's type that in there. Alphabet. There we go. So, we want to we want to get these things, guys. And let's hit V so we can stick them on the side of this. Actually, we should put in a flat panel here so that we can stick these on nicely. Unless... No, it might look cool going around the mountain like that, actually. So let's do this. Sid... Um... E... Hmm. Mountain's gonna be a very big word. Let's move this Z up. Because we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to fit it along here somewhere. Gonna have to tilt it forward a bit, I think. Hmm. This is this is gonna be tricky, guys. Just stick a sign on here. But I think that's looking cool. We'll we'll attach it with some things later on. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's place that back into construction. E. Wait. What? Why is that E so small? Am I dumb? There must be two different sizes. 3D. There must be a few different sizes of this or something. Is that the large E? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that we need to put along the same line, actually. Can we... Hmm. We're going to have to do these individually. That's going to be highly annoying. Nope, wrong way. Just need to be able to see this here. Tilt it forward just a smidgen. There we go. Bring it out a bit. We'll attach it to the mountain later. Right. Let, we might just have to write zebra here, guys. This is this is silly. Right, there's a large one. And then move you over. Then place. And find the R. There we go. Zebra, bring you out. Bring it back this way a little bit. And then we want A. Where is the big A? That's an arrow. We got big B there. Where where is the A? Why? Why is there no A like right next to the B? That would make so much sense. There we go. Bring that out a little bit. Alright, so what's that looking like? Zebra. Can we fit mountain in there? Let's give it a go, guys. Let's give it a go. Okay, guys, I'm thinking that is... Okay, we're going we're to have to pause the game, guys. we got ostriches all around the place. Alright, um... The problem... Okay, these guys are having a fight. I kind of want to watch it, but that's also cruel. But let's, let's just watch for, like, 30... 10, 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, they're not being friends at all. Right, so have I labeled the parents here? That is the problem. Probably not. Okay, let's look in the Zoopedia because I've forgotten. It's probably one male. Uh, okay. Clearly missed the Zoopedia button there. Right, let's see. Uh, right here. Okay, one male and up to seven females. Okay, so we've got lots of babies around. We need to get rid of... Okay, we got one male here. And we got one male here. Okay, this guy's gold. That's the guy I... Oh, they're both gold. Okay, so we can release this guy to the wild. I don't know which one the dad was. Huh. For release to the wild, guys. We only get 56, or we could sell them. I think we can sell them on the market. Send to animal storage. There we go. Alright, we'll get you out of here. Let's see if there's any more males in here. Female, any other adult males? Let's just keep an eye on them. Holy ostriches. What the heck? There's so many. Okay, there's a male here as well. Uh, he's bronze, but we can... We'll just release this one to the wild. There we go. There you go. 
That was what we needed to do. Okay, we got another male here as well. So what's this guy? He's silver. Well, we can we can sell him probably. And this one here. Oh, wow, there's there's a lot of guys in here. Okay, so these are all the young guys that are three years old. This guy's gold as well. Yeah, we're gonna sell him. So our ostriches are fantastic. We can sell them on the market now, which is good. So I haven't actually done this before. So if we go to animal trading and then animal storage. Uh, what? Oh, we have to we have to actually press play first, and then they should all show up in here. Okay, there's only two have shown up in here for some reason. I'll I'll check that out in a bit. But what we can do, guys, is trade or release to the wild. So how do we trade? How much is an ostrich worth over here? Like, let's look for instance. Um, what are these guys? There we go. Filter. Uh, I've also got the springbok on here. And a zebra. There we go. Filter those out. So this, so a bronze one selling for like 155. But there is a gold one here for 95. Interesting. Very interesting. I think we'll sell them for, let's try 100. Let's just put 100 on there and see what happens. See if we can sell them for that. I'm not really sure. There we go. Back into here. I haven't done any of this stuff before. So we got two gold guys here. I think we should sell them both for a hundred. Whoa, holy heck. That is way too high, my friend. Can't, can I just type in here? Oh, I can. Okay, trade. Okay, there we go. They're sitting on the store now for an hour. Okay, interesting. See if we can trade them out. Trade this guy out for the same. No, no just one hundred would be fine, my friend. Can I just type a hundred? There we go. This game. This game is crazy. And so this guy is not very good, so we can just, like, release them to the wild, I think. He's not amazing. Although he's not that bad, either. Let's, I mean, we do need conservation credits, so let's try just 30. That is not what I want. Okay, the delete key doesn't work, guys. Not at all. There we go. 30. Trade it, connecting. Okay, they're all on there waiting to be traded for that price. Okay, interesting, interesting. Never done that before, but let's see what happens there. See if they get traded out or not. So guys, I think next episode we will start working on some more things like staff buildings and some nicer looking like vendors and things. Obviously down this end we need to build some restaurants and things like that as well. Because down this Africa end there's no food or drinks or anything like that. Um, we have all the staff buildings here as well. I'm thinking maybe back in around the back here. We have a nice restaurant surrounded by like uh, things like that. Surrounded by uh, trees and things. But yeah, the Zebra Mountain sign is looking fantastic. So that is pretty cool. I'm really liking this, guys. It's going well. Right, we need to check on our animals. This guy's stressed. See what I mean? We definitely need that two-way glass because this guy... Oh, where is he? Uh, these guys always just complaining. Complaining about absolutely everything. Okay, guys, it looks like we've got the barriers now. So we just got that. So that's pretty fantastic. Where are they? So the barriers are researched to the fullest. We now have one way glass. Right. So to shut these idiots up here, we're going to edit barrier. We're going to click this one here. No, we don't need that one. Just want that one. And then we want to go around this way to here. And then we can make that one-way glass and that's one-way glass the wrong way why has it done it differently there what the heck is this game guys <laughs> uh, okay let's select these ones we need to change it around the one-way glass to be on the other side how do we do that over here uh, one-way glass side right side there we go all right that's all switched over so now the, uh, the guys can hide. They can hide from the crowds and everything, so that's pretty cool. Very good. And they still think we're underpriced, so that's good. Let's put it up again to 14, and then put these up to 10. There we go. Making so much money, guys. So much money. Uh, these barriers are always broken. Look, these guys are going to get out of here. It's on a three-month thing. I don't understand. Come on, my friend. Get out of there. Stop researching. Every three months, how come it's always broken? You, mate. He's always researching stuff. I mean, I suppose he's, do he's doing a good job. He's, he's doing alright. 
Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.